What's going on guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm sure the reason why you clicked on this video was because you want to get better at the game. This is a 2023 beginner guide for monster legends, things you should be focusing on, things you should avoid. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So what's a better way to start off the year than to make a beginner guide to you guys? I'm sure many of you guys that are going to be watching this either right now or later on in the future, maybe you're a new player to the game or something. I wanted to make a video to help you guys out. Um, I believe the last beginner guide I made was like a year ago or two. It's been a, it's been a while. So here's the thing. First, I'm going to cover for players that want to spend money on the game. Okay. So for those of you guys that want to spend money on the game, I'm going to let you guys know what things you should actually focus on. And then later on, we're going to split the video 50 50 the remaining of the video was was going to be for players that don't want to spend any money and want to get better so this is for players that want to spend money all right so here's what i would recommend the best investment in the game would be the legends pass this is the best purchase you can actually make so what i would highly recommend doing and it doesn't have to be me there is many other youtubers out there that you can go ahead and watch so if you don't want to watch my content you can watch others to help you yourself out what i would recommend doing is watching monster reviews okay so for example clara claus right every season every season lasts about i believe like 27 days or 30 days and they bring out the legends pass so there is one monster that's ranked three there's one that's going to be free and then another one that's also ranked three but here's the thing this rank three in the bottom right uh, bottom left right here this can only be obtained if you go ahead and spend this much money i i don't know why it's 64 dollars. normally it's like 50 dollars or something maybe it's a different type of discount yeah 18 percent off so normally it's actually a lot cheaper than this like 50 bucks so i would recommend watching monster reviews see if those monsters are actually worth your money don't just purchase it i'd recommend checking out monster reviews okay it's very important second second of all the ring three monster it's not always the best okay that's why again i recommend watching monster reviews because you want to spend the 20 bucks or no you know if you want to save it you save it but most of the time players don't purchase it for the rank 3 monster for example here we have the mighty Tedas. they don't normally purchase for this they, they normally purchase it for this right here or i guess i do at least as a level 150 player that plays for a, an elite team i normally purchase it for this right here the main resource boost what this does is it doubles everything that you collect for example collecting gold right now i don't have the legends pass so if i were to let's say collect this 400 golds right here it would give me another 400 gold on top you know what i mean it just doubles it for food same thing same concept when you collect it it basically doubles it so instead of 200,000, it'd be 400,000. so it's very beneficial you can go ahead and take advantage of that so it comes as a bonus with the legends pass if you purchase it another thing is everything that mentions it right here look a level 10 rune a level 7 rune you get the galactic era i think it's it's not called galactic now it's something else abyssal infinite no chest that's what it's called so it's that you get a free blossom monster next era it's going to be replaced with galactic um you get this guaranteed ancestral relic chest which i think is very nice and then on top of that you're getting a lot of other stuff as well that's beneficial so i would say it's good for the price that's like the best investment you can make purchasing the legends pass sometimes i skip on it but again it's the best investment you can make then there's a battle pass which is an additional 20 dollars if you want to spend your money on it you get a rank 2 monster and on top of that if you actually grind the legends pass a lot you can get basically a rank 4 or 5 depends on how many um how much time you're actually investing in pvp okay so this pvp i didn't really invest too much time although i did purchase it which i kind of regret because i feel like i could have done a lot better if i actually played a lot of pvp previously previous season i played a lot and i was able to do so much i did over a thousand attacks probably close to 2000 attacks i believe so i was very active but this pvp i didn't really feel like it so that 20 dollars i spent kind of went to waste if you think about it i got a bunch of these i mean i still have time but again so it's up to you. You want to complete all these challenges. You want to get through all of it. That's how you do it. You know, um, so that's another investment you can make. 
the battle pass. Most of the time, it's not worth it. Sometimes it's actually worth it. The monster is really good. That's why I actually purchased this one because this tank is actually not that bad. I did my review on it. So if you guys want to check out my review, monster reviews, I tend to make a review on all of them. So make sure you subscribe. So that's just for the battle pass. Another good investment you can actually make. What would it be? Here's the thing. What I would recommend in, uh, avoiding, first of all, are most of these chests, especially these ones right here. These chests you never want to spend your gems on. It is not worth it, okay? Every single one of these chests you see right here, not worth it. Metal pack, dark pack, no, ignore those. Sometimes they give you these chests where you collect a golden star, you can open up and get a free mythic. I'd recommend doing that, but we'll get into that later on for free-to-play players. Now here's another investment you can actually make. So in Bounty Hunt, this normally comes once a month. So what I would recommend doing is investing in the $100 monster it doesn't have to be 100 bucks sometimes you could go for like a rank one or rank three but for this i'd go for a high rank as high as possible if you can because there's no rank up dungeon for these unfortunately they took out out okay so there's no rank up survival dungeon so the only way to actually uh, you know rank these monsters up is with corallius this right here so i have 5,000 of it if i get a rank three right now i could basically kind of max it out or get get it closer being maxed out but i'm not gonna do that so this is another good investment it depends if the monster is actually good or not like for example serpent six was out in bounty hunt it's like the best investment i actually made you know in bounty hunt getting that monster crew electric that also was another good investment so just uh look out for these monsters uh it normally comes out once uh once a month and it's during bounty hunt okay so I'd recommend watching monster reviews and videos on bounty hunts when it comes around to actually see if it's actually worth your money or okay okay because although this is for players that actually want to spend money and whatever get better at the game but again you don't want to just spend money and just throw your money like that when the monster sucks you know what i mean sometimes they release monsters that actually are not as good like i'm talking about like viable for a very long time you know what i mean so besides all that i would say um join a team definitely join a team okay this is for players that want to spend money and don't want to spend money Joining a team is like one of the best things you could do. First of all, you could, you know, build a really good family, I guess. Uh, for example, Team Story 2015 is like a family. You know what I mean? So you join it, you fight in wars, you get war medals, war coins. They recently did update the team shop. For me, it's not as beneficial. I don't see it that beneficial. Actually, I kind of want to spend this and get the five cells there for Brain Laden because I'm only missing five. Should I do it? 400 coins? That's a lot though. <laughs> For 10 cells, that's a lot. But I do have 155,000 coins. This is like one war to me, basically. Sure, let's do it. I don't care. Okay. But anyways, you know, you get war coins. You get war medals. You can invest in this. What I would recommend not investing on would be these nemesis monsters unless you want to just craft the egg and get it for collection purposes. Some of these old monsters, like for example, King Traumas, which is not viable, really. Um... Unless you're like in bottom leagues and team wars or something. Then there are these rune chests, which you can also go ahead and invest in. You could do this free to play. You could also do this if you spend money on the game. But that's another investment. What I would recommend in, uh, not investing in so much uh, or to avoid would be this thing right here. Smuggler's Cave. I'm not really a huge fan of this. For 10 bucks, 220 gems. I know it's not, it may look like a, you know, decent deal. But invest in Legends Pass instead. That 10 bucks, save it for two months. Go ahead and invest in Legends Pass. You know what I mean? It's better in my opinion. Um, besides all of that, I... Okay, there's Team Race. Team Race also comes once a month. If you have a good team, you can go for a high rank. That's free to play. And also players that don't spend too much money or do spend money from time to time or spends a lot. Team Race, literally one of the best things you could do. Also, if you're going to purchase gem packs, what I would highly recommend doing is wait until there's a discount. You never want to spend 100 bucks for 1,700 gems. That is just the worst deal you could do. Same applies to every single one of these other ones, okay? Unless maybe like the couple of gems for 25 gems, two bucks, sure, whatever. But this right here, you can actually get 1,700 gems twice for the price of 100 bucks if you wait for the discount. Normally, when the discount comes, every single time, it's 50% discount. So you can basically get 1,700 gems times two for the same price that you're spending when there's no discount, if that makes sense. So wait for a discount. Every single time you want to just wait for a discount. Uh, another thing is, um, I would recommend... You know, try try to invest in mythics. Uh, mythics is like literally the best thing you can do. Um, investing in them, like for example, just try to have as much as possible, as many mythics as possible. It could be rank zero. You know what I mean? Use it for gold purposes. Like as you guys see, all around my habitats, 
almost all of them are basically mythics. You see everywhere. Mythic episodes, mythic episodes, mythic episodes. Except this area right here, which I just have these for fun because I just have that extra space. But try to have as many mythics as possible, okay? Let me see if I have any mythics here in my monster vaults. If I don't... Oh, I do have... I have Preston. I guess I can move this for extra gold. The reason why I have that in my monster vault and not in habitat is because I have all my um, fire monsters together. And I don't want to place it anywhere else. So it's just going to get messed up. But you know what? Just for the extra... Oh, here. I got some fire monsters here. Just for the extra gold. We'll just go ahead and place it there. See that? So, focus on mythics. That will get you the most gold if you're a beginner obviously i would recommend investing in panic and farming panic and farming is like the best thing you could do for gold purposes in the beginning later on i'm talking about like once you start getting a few mythics and then get more and more replace those habitats with mythic monsters and try to actually start like working on like leveling it up basically um but besides all of that what other investment can you really make hmm in this game huh um here multiplayer let me tell you this this is for free to play players and also players that spend money when you get to leaks okay try to go for as high as possible okay so if you get to legendary 2 push the legendary 1 when you push the legendary 1 your chances of getting a legendary leader is very low especially if you're a starter player because it requires a lot of skill a lot of strategy okay so these players that you see in the top three and five and ten they are tryhards trust me <laughs> The amount of time it takes you to like learn like everything in the game, it's going to take you years, trust me. It's not an easy game. If you want to go for Legendary Leader, I would highly recommend first going for at least Legendary 1. You know, get the hang of it, learn some new stuff, watch Team War videos, watch PvP videos, things like that. Learn a little bit and then you can probably push for it because it'll just be a waste of time. Because listen, the ranking system in this game is terrible legendary one right here with legendary leader so if you're in the top two to top 1000 you're getting the same exact rewards yeah the only person that's not going to get the same exact reward is legendary leader which is which you need to be top one so if you could get to top 1000 remain it you don't even have to go for top any higher than that because the thing is everybody's going to be getting the same reward so what are you really doing wasting time some people do it for fun. I do it for fun sometimes. I do it to beat my personal record. For example, let me see. Right now, okay, best tournament, Corrupted Tournament 9, which was, you know, rank 13. And then previous tournament was rank 31. I just did that for fun, basically. You know what I mean? Sometimes people do it to, like, beat their personal record or whatever. So, but other than that, it's just really just a waste of time. Unless maybe you purchase the Battle Pass and you're trying to get these tier eggs and stuff. That's understandable. But... Just something to avoid, you know what I mean? Um, besides all of that, oh, Monster Wood. I would say Monster Wood. Here's the thing. For those of you guys that want to complete tasks, unfortunately, Emulator, for me, doesn't work. For many players, don't work. Some people do say it works for them on Emulators, but again, they just took out most of the tasks for me and many other players that I know. So I'm not sure how that works. Uh, maybe it's just where you live, maybe. So just an assumption. But um, Monster Wood, they do give you gems if you complete tasks. If you go ahead and complete it, maybe on an iPhone, Android, it works. Emulators, I would say avoid it unless it actually works for you. Uh, besides all of that, oh, Monster Weeks. Monster Week comes around sometimes, okay? What's a Monster Week? Well, basically, sometimes a Monster Labs, you know, they tend to appear. You purchase their cells and it's going to be cheaper and there's going to be a mythics right now it's all legendaries and all the crap that you see these are not worth it at all okay normally sometimes not normally actually sometimes there comes mythics and those mythics some of them are actually worth it you can go and invest in them spending your gems you know what i mean sometimes in team shops go to monsters you'll see mythics not these ones right here these are legendaries by the way and you might see some mythics over here if you actually scroll a lot further Let's see, right now we got a bunch of legendaries. I think there's mythics, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I could just do rarity. Oh. Hmm, maybe they just come around sometimes during uh, Monster Week. Okay. So, yeah, Monster Week comes around. You spend like 200-something gems on a mythic that could help you out, you know, advance in the game. Honestly, between PvP and Team Wars, I, I don't want to actually, like, make anybody upset <laughs> by saying this. But in my personal opinion, I think Team War is more strategical than pvp okay although fighting for that first spot on pvp 
it's time consuming you know what i mean you have to invest a lot of time a lot of attacks look this player let me see this player did a thousand attacks just to maintain top three spot right maybe this player did more let me see oh never mind not as much uh but my point is that if you actually fight in the top leagues i'm talking about top top leagues like right here this top you know what i mean like top five or whatever you match against one of these teams it's gonna be difficult trust me um you have to really you know strategize your battles and stuff for pvp you just go in you attack you might win you might lose you know what i mean but i feel like team wars is more difficult um so if you want to actually get better at the game i would say watch a lot of team war videos you can see what monsters do in battles which ones are good which ones to invest in things like that um but that's just for players that want to spend money in the game there's many other ways that you can actually spend on your money on but most of them are just bad now here's another thing i want to mention uh when you purchase the legends pass they give you these token passes i believe you collect them at the end no okay it's not any like that anymore i haven't done it in a while that's why when you purchase the legends pass you go to the air portal you will see so right now the special offers here duke of atlantis but normally there's like three tokens that you can purchase you get extra cells for the legends pass monsters it helps you advance in the game it helps you rank the monsters a lot faster it gives you advantage over players that don't spend money in the game um unfortunately i will have to say this player this game is um pay to play let's just say okay so you can definitely you know advance faster than players that actually spend no money or spend little money let's just say right so if you let's say are a big baller and you spend a lot of money in the game obviously you could like get up there but here's the thing you also need to be very smart in this game very strategical you need to learn new skills and things like that you know what i mean you could have level 150s and then somebody could beat your team with like level 100s yeah yeah i'm, I'm being serious <laughs> Um, so just make sure to start learning new stuff. Let's say you want to be a free-to-play player, right? Okay, what I would recommend doing first is start with panic and farming. Okay, although I give this tip for players that also want to spend money in the game, but this is for everybody really. When you first start the game, try to build as many nature habitats as possible and just breed a bunch of panicans and just place them all around and feed them to at least level 7. I have made a video on panic and farming. There has been other YouTubers that made videos on panic and farming. I recommend checking it out. I made a whole beginner tutorial as well if you guys want to check that out. So I recommend checking that out because it has helped many players out there and I'm sure it's going to help you out. Another thing I want to mention is monster wood. So monster wood is actually beneficial. You can get cells for mythics that are actually good. For, for example, Voltic Redeem is like one of the best mythics right now in the game. So if you miss out on it, you can go ahead and get the cells right now. Eventually, you can go ahead and craft them. There is Golden Star. Golden Star, if you could get one of those, you get a free mythic basically right here. Golden Star chest. Open it up. You know what I mean? So that's a way to get a free mythic. Okay. Um, another way. Okay. Obviously tasks. If you can actually, if you could hit, get your hands on it, get some good tasks, complete them, get a bunch of gems, free to play. You know what I mean? You don't have to spend any money, not even a single dime. Some tasks do, reward, do require you to actually spend money on them, but there are some that you can complete free to play. You know what I mean? Uh, but besides all of that, I would say try to rank this up as fast as possible. The rune, rune building, it's actually beneficial. Um, you get your hands on, you know, more runes, higher level runes that could help you advance through PvP. Runes are one of the best things in the game. It helps you out a lot in battle. Like there could be level 150s with no runes and then you could have like 120s or 130s with like level 10 runes or something you could get first turn basically dominate obviously there's relics as well relics you know what i mean um try to get your hands on them sometimes there's monster wood relics you can go ahead and get a bunch of them from there also focus on this as well this is really very very important guys um not many players actually you know focus on this this is the first thing you should actually max out you know you know what i mean so there's sometimes breeding events where you can actually breed or have a chance of on breeding like one of these mythics and some of these mythics were like previously worth uh, a bunch of like dollars let's just say like Ser serpentex was once out in here and he costed like a hundred bucks for rank five they basically just threw that out there and some players actually got it free to play so yeah they do come around play uh, you know monsters that actually spend or cost money 
just tend to throw them in the breeding sometimes and make sure to keep an eye out and get those uh youtuber monsters as well um sometimes they actually you know have links like the youtubers themselves not me i'm talking about when monster gens sponsors a specific youtuber for example recently it was darman again for the second time and they give them a free link and i went ahead and shared it with you guys a bunch of you guys got free gems free resources like food gold cells things like that so things like that try to keep an eye out i normally make a video whenever i see one uh so make sure you guys are subscribed to see that um also this you definitely want to max this out as or not try to try to work on maxing it out but if you can't try to get it to at least level two so you can have this rainbow snow piece you get a lot of food from it so seventy-five thousand gold for three thousand food not bad it's another way to also level up faster and speaking of level leveling up faster you don't want to level it up uh level yourself up uh you know super fast don't focus on leveling up as much because these gold challenges not just gold challenge but there are many other challenges out there it gets difficult for you to complete so keep that in mind okay besides that obviously the best thing you can do once you uh get to level 16 i believe it is or level 18 is to join a team try to join an active team you know what i mean and get a bunch of war coins war medals get yourself mythics from team shop previously it was all full of legendaries but now they have some mythics that you can go ahead and obtain so another good investment to make you know what i mean as a free to play player uh besides all that like i mentioned pvp try to get to as high as possible in these leagues you know what i mean when you're a beginner it's difficult but just try to advance as much as possible get new mythics you know what i mean the ones that are actually meta speaking of meta what is meta monsters that are good in the current era let's just say those are meta okay so for example let's just say this random monster it was never good actually let me let me select a new monster that was actually good a while ago you know what when first mythics came out this cat ufo he was amazing you know what i mean but then later on there came a better version so people stopped using him and also in terms of stats it's not so high if we compare it to another monster that was let's say released later on no not mr beast that was also mythic look look at the speed here and the life and uh although again there are different ranks but i just wanted to like give a comparison so they were once meta but now people stop using them because there's better versions out there and there are some monsters that actually are meta for a very long time like i see some players still use spectra so spectra is not fully dead spectra came out in corrupted era although there's better versions out there than spectra but people still use them you know what i mean because it's still usable so just something to keep in mind focus on monsters that are actually meta uh, i have made um, a bunch of tier list videos so make sure to check those out check out monster reviews that have recently been out that i've made um what else is there dungeons yeah i would say i would say do dungeons dungeons is actually a good way to you know get resources like runes not that i don't i'm not really a huge fan of this one maybe you can get resources gems you know what i mean some of them are actually nerfed they used to be very good back then um if you could complete some of these era sagas they actually give you a bunch of resources and also talents cool talents so that's another thing to mention um again i would say legends pass best investment you can make but this is for players that don't want to spend money in the game but if you do want to spend some money from time to time legends pass is the best thing you can invest in guys okay just want to throw that out there mention it besides all of that uh maybe do some bounty hunt bounty is actually a good way to get a bunch of um cells from previous monsters previous mythics and you know what i mean advance uh get some of these newer mythics as well for example right now there's that one onion looking monster that looks very ugly very terrifying i recently did a review on it if you guys haven't checked that out already but you can get that free to play right now if you actually spend uh, invest a little bit of time a little bit of effort in this event and again bounty hood comes around once uh once a month so if you could just go ahead and invest a little bit of time you could get some mythics so I just they just gave me two chronobite cells which i don't even i don't think i have chronobite maybe i do i don't know but that was once a monster that was released for 50 bucks now it's free so yeah they just gave me seven cells for the new mythics as well so let me see 
Do, do, do. How many cells do I have right now? I have 121. So basically, I got it for free. Kind of. Although I did spend gems, but you can get it free to play. You can get it free to play, trust. Let me go ahead and craft it right now, real quick. Do, do, do. Where the heck is it? There it is. Loronian. Crafted. Free mythic right there. Adventure map is also pretty helpful, guys. If you could complete these adventure map nodes, it's literally like the best way to get resources. I think this is actually the best way to get resources in the game. Adventure maps. If you can complete those nodes, so good. Very helpful. Live duels. Live duels is helpful, I guess. I would say not as helpful as maybe adventure map or dungeons, but it's there. I already covered multiplayer. Team wars. Again, join a team. Start helping your team out and, you know, um, you could get a bunch of resources like war medals, war coins, and all that other good stuff from there. But, again, I have made a, you know, full beginner list, you know, playlist. If you guys haven't checked that out already, make sure to check that out. It has helped many players. I'm sure it'll help you out. So, check those out on my channel. But, that's going to be pretty much it, I would say, for, um, for this video. So if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll go ahead and help you guys out. Oh, let me not forget this. Try to level up these temples. If you could get these done ahead of time, trust me, there will be no headache, okay? This used to be a headache for me. Leveling these up because you can't level up your monsters to a specific level if you don't first level up their element temple, if that makes sense. So take care of those. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's monster video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.